That was stupid. That was stupid. Thought I might make a little introduction for the video. I, I made this thing, uh, oh geez, I don't know how long ago. Actually, I didn't really make anything. I found a little skateboard at Goodwill one day, and then um, I knew I had all these brackets for electricity and stuff at home, and I was just like, you know what? I bet you I could mount a camera on here and use it like a slider. And, and that's what I did, and it worked for whenever. I can't remember what I used it for, but it was fun. Unfortunately, the screw's a little bit long, and it came through here, so... Uh, it hurts when you touch it. Ow, 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 ow. But <laughs> when you can't afford a $600 camera slide, you know, a $399, $299 skateboard and a, you know, $1.59 piece of metal works out pretty well. Hey guys, welcome back to the VODcast. I am your host as always, Jason Oliver, and today, um, I wasn't expecting to do these. I knew caught it before it was too late, so I apologize if that was too low. Anywho. I was out and about today and I found these dark chocolate, chocolate covered Oreos. And now the dark chocolate surprised me a lot. I like them way more than I thought I was going to. I'm not a huge dark chocolate fan, but they're not a real, you know, you know how when you get that 83% cacao and it's in there and it's just bitter and like, <sighs> that's not the kind of chocolate I like. When I'm eating a chocolate, I want a milk chocolate, a sweet chocolate, a white chocolate, any of the other chocolates other than dark chocolate. If there's nothing else around, then, what are you going to do? However, uh, I do love the dark chocolate Oreos, and I like the chocolate-covered Oreos. It's a little bit much, but every now and again, like I said, you know, you're at a party or something like that, you find these on a tray. Maybe there's the white chocolate. Maybe there's a mint chocolate hiding in there somewhere. Who knows? Maybe there's a contest that night. You're at a party. You're at a dinner party, and everybody's like, oh, somebody's going to find the mint Oreo that's covered in chocolate and win a million dollars tonight. Or uh, you could just like these cookies. Uh, the mint one was, all of them have been pretty good. You know, it's just it's just a lot. However, I, I love the dark chocolate ones. I like Oreos, but like I've said in the past, they're not my go-to cookie. Like, it's not my first choice. You know what I'm missing they don't have in the South, or at least I can't find them, is the molasses cookies, those soft ones. Remember the ones back home? I wouldn't be disappointed if a um, box of those showed up at my doorstep one day. Okay, yeah. Of course, it's the rip-off tray. You're only going to get, like, 12 of these things, which is fine. Uh, you don't need more than 12 of these things. You don't need more than, like, two of these things a year. Your heart and diabetes and sugar, and you got to take care of yourself after a certain age. Well, let's bust right into these things. How's your 2020 going? Mmm, that's rich. Rich and chocolatey. That smells like dark chocolate. Is the is the chocolate? No, fudge covered. They are fudge covered dark chocolate Oreos. And they are enlarged to show detail. Be awesome if you opened up the box and they were all like that big. Like big old Oreo chocolate. See, that would make sense. You get 12 of those and they're larger cookies. But like, you know, how many do you get in a normal Oreo? I feel like this is something I should know. Like I should study and count them every time I open up a package. But I don't know. Let's say there's 30. This is 12, so that's 18 more in a regular package. Maybe it's 24. I don't know how many are in there. But nonetheless, like, this is, like, you're paying, like, premium top dollar for just that coating of fudge. Like, I love fudge, but fuck you. If you're gonna give me 12 cookies, like, they better be big fucking goddamn cookies. All right, let's give them a try. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. This camera... I changed the setting. Instead of just space, it was... I don't remember what it was. Anywho. Hold on. Mmm. Oh my god. Mmm. Like I said in the past, it was definitely too much. However, this combination of chocolates, the Oreo, which is kind of a cocoa flavor, the dark chocolate cream, and the fudge covering combined to make just a chocolate beautiful dream in my mouth. And all over my face, probably. And my beard, a little bit. Uh, this is definitely my favorite out of all of them. I would like to try a peanut butter one. You know, it'd be like, almost like mocking a, a peanut butter cup, but with an Oreo and the fudge. I don't know. But this is really good. This is really delicious. And, um, 
it's worth the price of admission. I think it's like three bucks or it was either two fifty or two ninety eight. I don't even look at the prices anymore because I'm so rich. <laughs> no, but because there's a standard pretty much price for Oreos across the board. Unless there's a sale like two for five going on or something like that, which is not very common, especially at stores like Walmart that pretty much set their prices and don't fucking touch them until there's a price change. Um, I think. I don't know how they work, honestly. I've never worked at a Walmart. Good cookie. If you guys have been thinking about going out there and trying one of the new fudge flavored uh, covered or fudge covered Oreo cookies, there is the mint, there's the original, uh, and now is there, there's the dark chocolate. And they also do a white chocolate around the outside or a white fudge around the outside, which is my absolute favorite out of all of those. Um, but followed very closely by this one. This is really good. Uh, I know I say that there's a lot in these. There's a lot. It's, it's just a lot. You know what I mean? Like when you go out to eat and you order a cheeseburger and they like bring you out this triple giant thing you can't even fit it in your mouth like it's a lot if this is a lot of cookie did i mention this is a lot of cookie if i haven't um it is but it's really good and all the flavors work really well together i'm gonna have to go to the dentist now because i could just feel it eating away at my teeth i was gonna try them in milk but i think like previous videos i think it doesn't make a lot of sense to dip fudge in. you're not gonna take a piece of fudge or like, a candy bar and <laughs> dip it in milk unless you're out of your fucking mind if you are, that's well, good for you, man. <laughs> Maybe it's good. Who knows? Maybe all the crazy people out there dipping chocolate and milk. Maybe they're, you know, it's chocolate and peanut butter, you know. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? All right, that about wraps it up. And uh, if I was going to give these little suckers a score, I'd give them an 8.5. I think they're really good. Uh, I like them a little bit more than the previous two cookies if we tried earlier on in the week. You can follow that card or whatever the fuck they call them, these little new things. You used to be able to just link it in the middle of the video. Be like, hey, I want that link. This, this area of the video, not anymore. So... Uh, hopefully I will remember it and I will link to, um, whatever, <laughs> whatever we were just talking about. <laughs> just before I recorded this video, all I had to do was turn around, turn around. Now my camera's here, just beyond here is my, my computer, my tower. Whenever I finish recording these videos, I take the SD card out, put in my little adapter, move the file over, and I do my editing. Well, I was here, I hooked up my microphone, I hooked up, hooked up? I hooked up my microphone and I hooked up my HDMI cables and we were off and running to the races, folks. Uh, no, after I got all that stuff hooked up, I realized, oh yeah, the SD card's not in it. In the time it took me to turn around and get around my light, which is right here, um, I, I forgot. <laughs> I was like, why did I just turn around? That's how bad my brain is lately. It's just, it goes off in tangents and never comes back and, and bitch. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and checking these out. If you guys are loving watching these as much as I am loving making them, please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing, all that fun stuff. It would help a brother out. Don't forget to make somebody smile tomorrow and make yourself a better person tomorrow than you were today, tomorrow. Let's make the world spin a little bit happier together. Let's sing and dance in the sun and in the rain, my brothers and sisters. Live life to the fullest and love every moment of it because you just never know when that last moment's going to come for you. However, never live in fear of that moment. Always live in love and never let your inner child die. It's important. Take care of yourselves. Take care of one another. And take care of those around you who can't take care of themselves. They're the ones that need it the most. I'm Jason Oliveira. This is the uh, fucking vodcast. <laughs> I always want to say Road to 40. I don't know why. I haven't filmed a Road to 40 episode in almost five years. That's right. Next year. That's five years since we started doing this. Is it? Yeah, 40. We started, no, we started 39 to 45. You do the math. Thank you guys for stopping by. I'll catch you guys a little bit further on down the road. Have a good night.
my little adapter, move the file over, and I do my editing. Well, I was here. I hooked up my microphone. I hooked up, hooked up. I hooked up my microphone, and I hooked up my HDMI cables, and we were off and running to the races, folks. Uh, no, after I got all that stuff hooked up, I realized, oh yeah, the SD card's not in it. In the time it took me to turn around and get around my light, which is right here, um, I I forgot. <laughs> I was like. Why did I just turn around? That's how bad my brain is lately. It's just it goes off in tangents and never comes back. And thank God I still got memories. All lost in the moonlight. All along in the moonlight. All along the watchtower. Whatever. <laughs> hey, whatever. Thank you guys for stopping by and checking this out. If you guys love and watch these as much as I'm loving making them, please consider the Thank you guys so much for stop, mm, bitch. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and checking these out. If you guys are loving watching these as much as I am loving making them, please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing, all that fun stuff. It would help a brother out. Don't forget to make somebody smile tomorrow and make yourself a better person tomorrow than you were today, tomorrow. Let's make the world spin a little bit happier together. Let's sing and dance in the sun and in the rain, my brothers and sisters. Live life to the fullest and love every moment of it because you just never know when that last moment's going to come for you. However, never live in fear of that moment. Always live in love and never let your inner child die. It's important. <sighs> love the life you're living. Love the adventure you're living. Take care of yourselves. Take care of one another. <laughs> Love the adventure you're living. Take care of yourselves, take care of one another, and take care of those around you who can't take care of themselves. They're the ones that need it the most. I'm Jason Oliveira. This is the uh, fucking vodcast. I always want to say Road to 40. I don't know why. I haven't filmed the Road to 40 episode in almost five years. That's right. Next year. That's five years since we started doing this. Is it? Yeah. 40. We started. No, we started 39 to 45. You do the math. Thank you guys for stopping by. I'll catch you guys. Uh, uh, thank you guys for stopping by. I'll catch you guys a little bit further on down the road. Have a good night. And shit. Cookie. Oh, hit board.